This isn't something that you can't do on your own. When you start to realize these little teeny things, so if you just for a moment, let's do a real quick one. So for a moment, look at your finger really tight. Look at your finger, look at your finger. And you notice how much tension you get in your whole system? This is you looking at your cell phone. This is your new best friend, all right? This is how much work it is to look at our cell phone. So now just take a nice moment Take a nice long breath in and pretend you're laying on the grass as a kid looking out at the stars on a dark night. So just take that nice long breath in, exhale slow and look out at the stars. Is that like wow? I mean, there's a nebula, there's a shooting star, and it just was so quieting. Right there, it's like, we have to find a big picture, a nice big picture. If your favorite thing is the Grand Canyon or looking out at Mount Rainier, like we're so blessed in Washington to do, looking out at the mountains, looking across at the ocean at a sunset. What is, now I know it's hard in, in Kansas, but you can still find some. Um, so find these big vista views that we can look up and away and, it takes that long, a few seconds for you to go from looking at your phone to, right? The more you do these things, the quicker you can get in and out of these states of calm. And I think that's the biggest, most important thing is to find the status of calm. Because when you're not there, everything is multiplying like dominoes falling. So how do we do that in such a way?